Hi, I'm Dave. And I'm Marie. And we're the Old School Soulmates. And we have a haul video for you today. We've been out of, <laughs> we've been, uh, it's been crazy. We've probably been like a couple, three weeks since we did a video, so we apologize for that. But uh, Marie went out on an expedition safari today and uh, by herself and came back with about $300 worth of thrift. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway, we're going to show you some of that. And these are some of the things from another thrift haul here that we'll start with and we'll go from there so it's all you yeah we've been we've been thrifting and the problem is is that because we don't not find it very much we're kind of thrifting it and then getting it listed and photographed right away so we almost don't have time to haul but we got some time this time to haul so anyway so i'm going to go over a couple things that i have our thrift store which we're in a little town i, I was just looking killing time at the ties because i always stop by the ties because you figure they're a dollar 99 to 49 at the most sometimes even cheaper and there you can get anywhere usually between 15 and a and hundred dollars for ties so they're very small very easy to ship very easy to pack and usually if you run across one good one there's sometimes a cluster of them well i was there and i was like oh my gosh a salvador ferragamo now the shoes are really expensive the ties are not so the ties are but they're a solid price they're mm -hmm. and they're really nice looking ties so i said okay well there's one of those well and lo and behold here's another one of them and then here was another one of them and here was another one of them and these i bought all at exactly the same time and i live in a little rinky dink store town so here's another salvador ferragamo so then I said, okay, well, I'm going to keep looking. So this is a Nina Ricci. These bring in good money. I had to look that up. This is this one here is Hermes, which I didn't even know what that was. So that brings some money, too. And this particular one, now that I think about it, I just passed one of these up today because I wasn't thinking as to what brand it is. So I totally what forgot. Is Sure. This is a Hermes tie, I believe. Yeah, mm. Hermes Paris. Yeah. There was one of these at the thrift store in, in um, up the town here because mm. I was like, well, I know this this logo. I know this logo, but I couldn't <laughs> find because the name is is here, where normally you're looking here, and I couldn't think of the name. So I've passed one of those up today. Well, I'll have to go back. This I cannot say this name. So or Meg. Leo Zegna, okay? Zegna. There's one of those and another Salvador mm. Ferragamo. Yeah. So all of these I got at one time. I mean, every single one of these was just sitting at our thrift store. So we haven't listed them yet, but these mm. things, like I said, they cost nothing to ship. And they're easy to store. Easy to store. Oh my gosh! Keep one tote, you can store three hundred ties. Yeah, easy. If, if we had to sell one, if the money was there and the supply was there, if I had to pick one thing in the world to sell, it would be ties. <laughs> I swear, ties and eyeglasses. <laughs> so, so there we go. But, yep, there we go. All right. Well, next up, this is from a while ago too. It's been riding around the back of the car. We got to get it out and listed. But um, this is a. Uh, Combination VCR um, DVD uh, recorder. Okay, the recorders are the ones that bring some money because what you can do is put your VCR in here and and uh, you know record a DVD of it, digitize mm -hmm. it more or less, and then once you digitize it, you can rip that DVD into whatever and store it wherever. So these uh, bring decent money sometimes. I don't know. And it has the remote and the instructions, yeah, so that's, that's a big deal. That's a huge deal. You know. So that makes it a lot more valuable. I'm not sure what this goes for. I would say probably anywhere from seventy five to a hundred dollars, maybe. Yeah. So if I had to guess. It says it has some issues, but I don't believe them yeah. because you, you know always, you want to test it out too if you when you're thrifting you'll find plenty of <laughs> VHSs and yeah and stuff and you can just hook it up to your TV and, and check it out. So. Yeah, exactly. Always test them, yep. All right, so yesterday I was thrifting at our thrift store again and came across a pair of Sanitas. Picked them up because Sanitas are a good seller, of course, you know, they're the same as dance goes roughly. And so when I came home, I said, I'm going to look them up, you know, and I'm like, you know, these Sanitas go for $39.95, you know. So, you know, I'm like, I couldn't find any that were decorated. I'm like, you know, there's no decorations on, you know, that I can't find one with this pattern or something. So I was like, okay, whatever. And, 
you know, I said, so, you know, I was getting ready to list them. I'm going to list them for $39. And they were sitting here on the table, and I looked over, and it has a signature on them. Hmm. And it says Romney 2010. And I'm like, what the heck? Somebody painted their shoes? <laughs> so I look online. I said, okay, now I really have to research this, you know. So I look up, and I, and I look on there for Romney painted clogs. And lo and behold, an artist in Alaska paints Dansko's and Sunita clogs with these really pretty f- roses, all kinds of stuff, and they sell for two hundred and twenty-seven dollars a pair. Yeah, brand so new. These so these are we, pretty much brand new. Yeah, these are, don't look like <laughs> I don't know if anybody much. is yeah. like the other walked about fifteen minutes in them. Yeah. So I almost list them for thirty-nine dollars, and I'm glad I didn't. I'm glad I took a minute. Because only one shoe is signed too. I mean, he just signs one, and I was, I was very surprised. Yep. So anyway. So yeah, keep your eyes out for anything that's unusual. If it looks if, weird, take a minute. Yeah, take basically. a minute and dig into it. Sometimes you need to use Google for that. You're not going to necessarily find that on eBay no. if you want to go to no, Google. No, because there, there was or, uh, uh, even Etsy or uh, or uh, you know any of those other places. Poshmark sometimes they'll have that stuff. That's why Google. If you search Google, you'll they'll show up on those other sites. Yeah, um, at our thrift store, all purses are three ninety nine. So I came across this, and it needs to be wiped down and everything because I just bought it the other night. But um, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's a it's a leather purse from Joy and Iman. Mm-hmm. I looked it up to see, and it it's real leather. I thought it might not be, and you know they sell for you yeah. know pretty good money. You know it's a nice tote bag. So yeah. for three ninety nine into cool. thirty nine ninety five. All right, so now we're into all the stuff I found today. And this stuff is literally coming out of the bag. <laughs> Dave, I haven't even seen, seen it, it yet. So you know, it's a surprise so. to me, too. I'm getting to watch like you are. Right, some of so. this stuff is mine, so yeah. I have to go yeah. through that. Okay, that was mine. Now this, <laughs> this is the cra- <laughs> Okay, this is we'll crazy. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay, y'all laugh now. Does but it fit me here? No, it doesn't fit you. It's a women's. It's a little bit small. There you go. What do you think? Is it me? Okay. <laughs> no. It's like a straight jacket. And I'm leaving him in it just so you know. <laughs> if he gets stuck in something, he has to stay in something. But anyway, so yeah, cool. everything's but pretty much just... five ninety nine. It's just a lady's vest, but this is vintage um, Double D Ranch. It's a size small. Um, you know, it has some imperfections in it. So. It's got some... Uh, uh, very United States things. soldiers shooting Indians. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's probably, yep, probably a little yep. politically uh, interesting Incorrect. there, but it's uh, got beading yeah. up top here and and epaulets on the thing. I don't yeah, know, strange. but anyways, this this is probably this. You know, this could be Custer though, because they're you know it could be because they're yeah. So anyway, but anyway, you know anything about this? Put it in the comments. Well, this particular this particular company. Is um, and I don't know if somebody might have altered it for themselves, but this particular company, their stuff sells for hundreds of dollars. Cool. So I don't know if this will or not, but I couldn't yeah. leave it there for five ninety nine. Yep. Today I stumbled upon a, a, several pieces of cashmere. A cash of cashmere. Yeah, I did. I absolutely <laughs> did. This is Investments, which is a Dillard's brand, but cashmere pretty much sells. Now you have to inspect it, and I did the best I could, but it seems like every time, as soon as I get home, I find a hole. But um, and, and the best way to do it is literally hold it up to the light, you know. And if you see that hole coming through, but it's a real pretty um, size extra large women's pink cashmere blouse, and it's a sweater. Very very nice and mm, cool. So there's a cashmere that I got there. And I said everything's pretty much four ninety nine. This is seven ninety nine. This is a denim jacket, uh, size large. This is a women's. It has like a embedded so pattern into the into the denim i don't know how to describe it but yeah. i you know it's like texture it's not really textured but it looks like it's textured. Yeah, it's kind of like it's it's, like splash bleach on it's kind of weird you know what it does it, it has this weird yeah. marbling kind of effect That's anyways yeah. but it is levi's new with tags yeah there you go Sold for ninety eight dollars at the time but it's brand new yeah so Got the black label levi yep yeah. And you know it's it's fair it's fairly new. I think it's uh, two thousand. I think it's this, 
uh, two, probably 2013, if I had to guess. Yeah. 2018. Yeah. So it's a new design, but it's a nice lightweight jacket yeah. for women. Nice. So it was $7.99. I like new with tag stuff, so, you know, because it always, it makes me happy. Okay. This thing weighs a ton. This is a just it's a it's a hoodie, a big heavy duty hoodie. Bulwark, Come but on. it's bulwark. Fireproof stuff. You know, is this fire resistant? Fire or? resistant. Mm -hmm. okay. Fire resistant bulwark. Yeah, bulwark you know? is a company that um, yeah they generally with this stuff you want to make sure it's brand new or darn near brand this new is because pretty much because yeah. this stuff kind of has a shelf life, mm -hmm. um, you know, it, and people wear it in environments where they have to have this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. We we came upon a cache of um, bulwark shirts mm -hmm. back in the Board day, shirts. and we bought them for like a dollar a piece or something. And we mm -hmm. we sold them for anywhere from thirty, forty. One guy bought six. Yeah, one guy bought a lot of them. He, yeah. he sent us an offer and said, "Hey, I'll take this many of them if you'll give them to me for this price." And we sold for several hundred dollars so mm -hmm. yeah because a lot of so. people are required to wear but this is i mean this is like new i mean yeah, it doesn't look really like it's ever it like, it's yeah. huge <laughs> cool. but it's it's a fire resistant yeah. you know and it's uh, in really nice shape so i picked this up it was uh 5.99 and the tag needs to say that it's like right in here it says flame resistant there's different levels of that too right. i don't it, understand all that but there are different yeah, levels the shirts of it. that we bought were like like the top super level high le yeah, level like this is probably a more medium yeah. one but bulwark yeah. always seems to sell good you know. stuff so i picked that up and this, oh, no. that's for me <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right another big oh. bag of thrift here this here if I see something new with tags, I try. I I, I really focus on yeah. it because you Look can't go up. wrong. You, you know, really. This is a Tommy Bahama, um, brand new with tags. It's a re, it's actually a reversible shirt. I have not seen one like that, so it's pretty cool. It's and reversible. It doesn't off. size one side's waffle weave and one side smooth. Yeah, pretty but cool. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so, any idea what this might bring? I don't know. It sold new for ninety dollars, wasn't it? Yeah. Well. Yeah, Tommy yeah. Bahama's expensive, brand new. So yeah, Tommy Bahama thirty nine dollars. It's kind of coming, comes and goes, you know. And but uh, more we, unusual stuff, you can always take a shot to, at. Yeah. yeah, this is a nice shirt. This is for Dave, really. But he'll <laughs> he'll decide if he wants it. Yeah. Brand new with tags. Oh, this yeah. is a Magellan, um, which is uh, it's got all the venting. The back has a vent in it. Like I said, brand new with tags. Yeah. Kind of like. Columbia PFG stuff, kind of, except yeah, it's not exactly. PFG, professional yeah. fishing gear. But but it's brand new, so yeah. I figured yeah, yeah, yeah. Dave would like that. So. Keep that. Yep, exactly. And I did stumble upon a cache of some Titan <laughs> stuff that oh, Titan. is kind of... Mama says foosball's for the devil. Even though this is like brand spanking new, these are Puma though, and yeah, I, but I think they're nice. vintage. I really you do think they're. You see a lot of red stuff too. It's and I cool. think they're vintage because they said made in the USA. Yeah, right there. So, so made in the USA. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. And this is from 2000. All sport, heavyweight, made in the USA. The good old days when we won games and such. Yeah, that's yeah. when they well, were. We won some games last year. When they were the champions there. When we went to the Super Bowl and missed it by this much. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah. Man, at least we got there. Oh, this is for Dave, too. So it's a nice turtleneck. Brooks Brothers, very soft, mm. brand new, pretty much. Very, cool. very nice. He likes turtlenecks in the winter. Yeah. It's nice and soft and smooth. In the do my best Steve Jobs imitation in this. Here. Exactly. There you go. All right. And that's for me. All right. Now, this was kind of crazy. I don't know. I don't know when this is from. I don't know anything about it. But I know it's old because I get to... 1986. <laughs> oh, is it 1986? Tour, tour 1986. Oh, this anyway. is 1986. Wow. That is old. Molson Canadian <laughs> sweatshirt. <laughs> Now, if that isn't vintage, it's like three cool, different. Yeah, we'll have to definitely research this one really well. Three different be, varieties of material on this. This, this is smooth cotton. This is a t It looks like it's really never been worn. I mean, it's just so huh. old. One size, gander, grandier, grandier. Okay, that's, large. That's yeah, one. it's a. Uh, Made in Canada. Obviously. <laughs> Molson. <Eight>. Yeah. Four dollars <laughs> and ninety nine cents for this. But I just couldn't I couldn't leave this freaky looking thing. That is thing. cool. I like that. And the back of it's <laughs> cotton and the side <laughs> it's crazy. 
So if you need a Canadian shirt, hey, hit us up. Yep, exactly. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make fun of Canadians. If there are any Canadians watching, I've been there. I love your your country. It's pretty cool. And she's I'm right. a Canadian. She's pretty much a French Canadian. I'm herself, a French Canadian. So, yeah. okay. so we we kid because we love. Yeah, exactly. But here's another Titans, um, the red label. So this is uh, more the vintage Titans, but yeah. really nice. Pretty cool. Really yeah. nice fleece there. It was in really good shape. Mm -hmm. So pretty ball okay. there, but yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool NFL pole tab on the zipper. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. All righty. Time this, for football coming up here in a few weeks. This is a nice shirt. I didn't know if Dave might like it or otherwise. This is a Vineyard Vines. Hmm. Really nice. Uh, it's got the little whale on it and everything. It's a little bit too... I don't know if they're cut small because it's yeah. a 2XL, but it's a really nice Vineyard Vines shirt. Yeah. Pick that up. Alrighty. We're gonna have some shoes too coming up here. We're just kind of showing you the clothes and stuff first. Uh, we also we have some tons and tons of shoes over here. That yeah. Got. Here's speak of the devil. Now Here's we're into shoes. shoes. Why well, okay. look? There's one now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Red was half price today, so that's why I picked these up. These are kind of vintage Sperry Topsiders. They have a really odd label. I don't know if they're older. Yeah, that yeah, top side of yeah, there. I don't know you see that. But they were in really, really yeah. nice shape. So I said, well, I'm going to get them. So. Yeah, man. Some guy in South Florida is going to be yeah. rocking these. But they were half price. So that's, that's my big thing there. Don't go wrong there. And these are a little... This, these were also half price. These are borns. So... Um, I call them like shooties. They're like little booties and everything. I'm surprised these actually bring decent amount of money. So, but yeah, they were five ninety nine. So I got them for half price. Yeah. 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 And again, oh, I'm always looking at always look at the soles. This still has the staples in it from <laughs> the price tag. But these are Riker anti stress. These always sell really well for yeah, us. Really soft. So yeah, they are yeah. they're a nice pair of shoes. A little small. This is small size. These are size six. And you can tell the wear too, and it, you can still read stuff like this oh, yeah. inside. That's a good sign. Well, and I don't. And the yeah, heel. I, look I at this. I mean, it's I mean, like I don't even see yeah, it doesn't look like anybody's so even walking. They're in great shape. Yeah, they are really in good shape. Alrighty, and this is a pair of Cole Hans. I just thought they were in really good shape. Mm. And you can see our thrift store likes to sell stuff high, ten dollars, but again it's red, so they're half price. Yeah. Or else I wouldn't have bought them. And Cole another thing, Hans good if there's anybody that works at Goodwill or knows anybody that works at Goodwill, tell them to stop doing this. Just putting these stickers on these horrible places. I know. And it on is. top of it all, they've got it written in permanent marker here. Um, you can get this off a lot of times on rubber soles with erasers. Like it, I, I'm scraping it, it's coming off. But but sometimes they write this like right on the leather, or they write it oh, on I the. Saw I, I've seen, and sometimes the marks got to get off on the shoe itself. Yeah. So yeah, I Be, saw something today where it was written right on the suede product. Cool. Yeah. Um, little rubber thingies there, what yeah, you call it? I don't know. Anti-slip, I'm anti -slip. guessing. Anti-skid. This is a cute pair of flats. I saw these are Vanelli, which I don't buy a lot of Vanelli because it's, you know, it's a twenty four ninety five shoe or anything. But these are just really cute. They've got uh, um, rhinestones and a twist. They're in good good shape. And they were five ninety nine half off. So for $3, and they're practically new on the bottom, yeah, really. I said, I'm going to pick really those nice. up. They are really cute flats. Like yeah, there's <laughs> Yeah. But, I mean, Vanelli's a really quality shoe. It just hasn't been selling for a lot of money lately. I did buy a couple of ties while there today. I bought this. This of all that that's a Brooks Brothers there. Brooks Brothers. Brooks Brothers maker. And I passed on the Hermes of all things, but yet I saw this tie and this is Nola Couture. So of course Nola's New Orleans. And um, this particular tie they actually bring some money. Yeah, because they got the little Florida Lee. Florida Lee. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I'm French Canadian. <laughs> we <Oui. laughs> This here, now, of Dexter's another shoe that um, men's Dexter's do well, but usually these don't. I, I, I said, but I'm going to look it up because there's just a lot of, a lot of time was put into the sole of the yeah, shoe. That's an interesting so soul, I said, yeah. let me look these up. So these are um, Dexter Genuine Camp Mock, and actually these do bring a fair amount of money. So, Crafted in Maine. Yep. 
Yeah. So I picked them up for five ninety nine. I, I think I can get thirty four or thirty five dollars for those. Oh, yeah, that work. They were kind of neat. This is something I never buy, but anyways, I bought them. <laughs> These are belts because I was standing there. And I'm like, you know, and, and I remember watching a YouTube video, and I don't know whose it was, but they said that you know there's some quality belts that sell for some money, especially designer ones. But this, these are bright. This is a Brighton belt Martin here. Martin Demon. Yeah, <laughs> uh, this is a Brighton belt, this and is, this is a um, like a women's uh, like Texas type of thing. Did you see what these are made of? Uh -huh, that Louis one, Louisiana Gator. That one's made out of Louisiana Yowdy. Gator. I had to get it to go with my Nola tie. <laughs> yeah, there you go. But these, this, this, <laughs> this probably brings thirty four dollars, yeah. and or twenty four dollars. Uh -huh. This one I think might be thirty. Yeah, it might need a little conditioning or something, you know, but um. I couldn't leave a gator. And, and again, things like ties are so easy to store. You know, I mean, and ties and, and belts. I mean, uh, yeah, and to ship and everything. I mean, you can just roll these things up, and they take no space. No space. You know, yeah. So. And I, I mean, yeah. normally there's just junk in the in the. You know, I happen to see two nice ones there. So I said, okay, we're gonna get those. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else do we have here? <laughs> All right. Oh, this is <laughs> this is another. Uh, Titans, another another Titans pullover. That's when they were founded, I guess, huh? Uh, not not really. <laughs> the uh, well, needs a bath. The, the Oilers maybe, but not yeah. the Titans. The Titans. But anyways, it was in good shape, and it's vintage, vintage, vintage Titans. Can't yeah. leave it behind. So, this was a really nice sweater. I really like the way this was made and everything, and it's an LL Bean. It's a men's uh, extra large. Oh, a knit kind of. Yeah, it's kind of like a waffle knit kind of thing, a little heavy. Yeah. But so LL Bean, if it's in good shape and everything, it sells fairly, yeah, fairly consistently. It, so. It's a nice sweater. It's in good shape too. And it's a nice looking sweater. Nice looking sweater. Yep, yeah. exactly. So size is that? that. LL. I I make it's it your too. size. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, might might, uh, might keep that one. And I was coming along down the aisle, and I saw this. Uh oh, uh, the masters. masters. Yeah. So this is a masters pullover. They all are fairly consistent sellers, you know. They just what we mean you know, this tag here, the masters tag, and, here. and you want to have that little embroidery on the thing of Augusta here, right? Yep. Is that what that is? Oh, oh well, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I that's, yeah. think that's what it's pointing at. Yeah. <laughs> yep. yeah, that's where the masters are. Yep. So I think there was something on a cuff too. Oh, on the arm it says masters right there. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, definitely pick those so, up. So uh, you know, they're not the polos are you know twenty four dollars or so, but that's a pullover, so yeah. that might bring a little bit more money. So I'm hoping this was a shirt. Didn't know anything about it. Again, half price. So, um, but <laughs> it said 100% Capri, made in Capri, and I'm like, oh, this is some cheesy thing. I looked it up. Not so cheesy. Some of this stuff, it's it's 100% linen. It's a men's shirt, yeah. and it yeah. uh, it actually um, it, they actually go for some money. I yeah. think it's a men's shirt, anyways. It's kind of a yeah, really light. Like you can read thin, through it. Yeah. And I don't. I mean, I don't know. But I, you know, I had to look it up. It felt kind of quality. Capri. And I said, I'm not going to find anything, but I did find something. So yeah. there you go. How much they go for? You say? Well, some of the stuff was a hundred dollars. Oh, really? Yeah. So I don't yeah. know. There you you go. know? I have no idea. Here's another Super Bowl ten, twenty, thirty-five. Yep, Super Bowl. <laughs> Missed it by this much. Super Bowl. Yeah, that, that's, that's okay. Super Bowl there. But all this stuff was like brand new. These, yeah, good shape. This is Puma again. Yeah. So you know these are from two thousand. So yeah. they really are considered vintage at you this just point. Just want to look at the cuffs and make sure that they're yeah. not all and frayed or nasty or dirty or you know, and the collar. Yeah. But it's like I don't know. This guy collected the stuff, died, and his wife just threw it all out. Is this, but is this <coughs> official NFL stuff because it doesn't have any NFL from marketing. back then? Probably, yeah. yeah. I mean, but, I guess it's got it on here, but and it's Puma, Atlanta, so Georgia, no one, no one's going to sit there and. And spend money for Puma stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's on a beefy tea or something. Yeah, <laughs> then I might worry about it. Yes, exactly. Right. Oh goodness. Anyways, so this I found at our store down here. This was Ralphie. A, this is Ralph Lauren, brand new with tags. That's the only reason I bought it. 
So, but it was a kind of a neat pattern. I kind of liked it. So, yeah. I said I should Pepper. be able to sell that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that was for me. The bigger the pony, the better most of the time. Too. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> Oh, no, that was for me. Was this one for me, too? Oh, no, this was for Dave, because I thought or he might like it, and if he doesn't like it, I'll try to sell it. Ponte Verde Inn and Club. This is a golf club in Florida, but um, this is on a Brooks Brothers. Hmm. Um, yeah. Sure. And Brooks so, Brothers pullover, I mean, uh, polo shirts aren't really super valuable to sell, but, uh, but yeah. But sometimes with the But, but if they the got a logo, club, right, they, that might know. make it. But More it's a nice, nice yeah. polo shirt. Yeah, somebody. Yeah, so. yeah. exactly. But the, a lot of the polo shirts go for anywhere fifteen, nineteen dollars or something. Mm -hmm. and then I came across this. <coughs> mm -hmm. yeah. This is from Dillard's. It says a uh, Turnberry. Um, this is a two XL, one hundred percent cashmere men's sweater. That's nice. Um, it was on sale for a hundred and fifty. Then it was marked down to seventy five, but it sold for one ninety nine. Is uh, it ended up so Originally, it's one hundred percent cashmere, and it's I soft. and it's it's got this everything still on it, and I went over this thing the best I could. Is that a men's or this women's? is men's? That's a men's. This is men's. Yeah. That looks like a small two. I guess not. Yeah. Yeah. Two XL. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's uh, nice. It might fit me too. It would fit you absolutely. <laughs> but that's a beautiful cashmere. Yeah, that is nice. Yep. Exactly. So that's that, and then I got these. Ugh. Two these pairs of, of Ugg, cool. two pairs of Ugg mules. Yeah. So and I don't know. What is this know. material? Is this like suede? Suede. It's okay. like a new buck. It's kind just of new, a, but yeah, it's kind soft. Of not, that's your classic suede, yeah. but it's kind of suedey. I don't think these go for a ton of money, but yeah, I didn't want to leave them there. So. But if you, you know, for people that have school colors like this, like you know, University of Tennessee, for and example, women that or, are that are you know, matchy, matchy. Are you trying to match something? I mean, I mean, I is, could sell them as a lot, yeah. really, because they're both six and a half. Yeah, you know, somebody cool. had both. They're colorful, too. Yeah. And then I stumbled upon this. This is oh nope, that's for me. Never mind. <laughs> I thought that was that. no. I thought I put that other one back. Then I came across this really weird pair of shoes. Now these are filthy. The reason I bought them really was so I could work on cleaning them. But the brand out of Italy, these are expensive shoes. So I said, okay, if I'm going to bring their Everlane, something weird, never heard of it. Yeah. But they they need to be cleaned, so I'm going to try to clean them. Yeah. Why not? You know. But Give um. It a shot. You know, I mean, you so know. what is this material? Is that it's, it's it's leather. Leather. It's a leather. It's, it's like a new buck. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah, that's what it felt like. It yeah. wasn't quite. It's real soft leather. So I don't know, but these, these ever these are women's shoes. These are ten and a halfs. Yeah. But uh, a yeah, they. This is a really odd brand that brings a decent amount of money. All right, so you got some more. I do. All right. I have some more. There's some bunch of shoes in that one. Yeah. Right. Okay. First Let's is this. this on the floor here. Okay. All right. All right, I was standing at the checkout aisle getting ready to check out, and this was laying there. And it's, he has a little bit of things out, but it's an Ellen Tracy, 100% cashmere. Little, it was sitting like somebody didn't want it and threw it off to the side. So I don't see anything wrong with it. Mm -hmm. Those holes are supposed to be there. So <laughs> that's, so anyways, I, figured, the holes, but I had to act quickly on that one. So. All right. All righty. There's some more shoes. Yes. Okay. These are earth. Also earth. The earth, not the earth spirit, not the cheesy earth. Those this is nice. the expensive like earth. Yeah. You can, a lot of times shoes, when you pick them up, you can just feel that there's something. Right. Sometimes, exactly. Sometimes, you know. And every one of the shoes that I came across today was four ninety nine at this at this Goodwill. And this Goodwill is women's shoes four ninety nine, five ninety nine, occasionally a seven ninety nine. Men's shoes nine ninety nine and up. So, yeah, cool. but anyway, so I got those. Nice. Yeah. What are these, Calso Earth? Right? Calso Earth. Yep. Mm -hmm, exactly. And then when I first walked right up to the thing, I was like, because I usually don't find much at this store, but for some reason. Now, I don't buy a lot of Franco Sardo, but these are brand new, pretty much, okay? So, 
They were brand spanking new, and they had two pairs of them. Yeah. One red and one blue, and they were nice cork wedges that were pretty much brand spanking new. So for four ninety nine, yeah. I was going to pick those up. Pretty cool. Yep. I grabbed these. Don't these are not worth anything? I'm sure. But I grabbed them because they were four nine nine, and they were just really cool looking shoes. You know, I thought they were fit flops when I first grabbed them, so I was going to put them back. But then, not you know, me. I don't know. They're they're genuine le with leather, so I said no, I'll keep them. They look like they would be popular, mm -hmm. so they were kind of cool looking. So, and then I'm surprised I only got one of these in my travels today. But a, break, a pair of SASs. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, those are in really good shape. Yeah, though. they are. Yeah, yeah, and those, that's what you want with SAS. You want to make sure they're, because people do wear these shoes. Yes, they do. They wear them yeah, to the ground. But, they're in but these are in perfect. They look like they're nice soft to inside. Yep. Yeah, good shape. So now that is everything. That's everything? All That's right. everything. All right. <laughs> All righty. Well, anyway, um, so hope you enjoyed that. If you did, uh, subscribe. We're trying to get to at least 100 subscribers would be great. Uh, we kind of keep fluctuating up and down here. We lose one. We gain one. I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. But uh, if you can, if you can find in your heart to subscribe, it would be great. It helps us out a lot. Um, if you want noti to get notified that we're having a video or we got a video coming out, click the little bell up there, and that will tell Tell you anytime we put out a new video. And until then, we'll see you next time. All right. See you later. Bye.